Oh my god, the white chocolate is shaped like stars, you guys. Hello, Overachievers, and welcome to another episode of Overachievers TV. It's a super awesome, spooky, fun, overachieving, what do I do with my hands, I don't know, channel. And we bring you all kinds of fun, exciting stuff. And today, I am going to review some tea that I got on a website. Um, so if you like tea and you want to spill the tea on how great this tea is gonna be, then keep on watching. Here we are in my kitchen and uh, thought we could get awkward and enjoy some tea. I bought some tea off of this lovely website called davidstea.com. I hope it's gonna be delicious. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be delicious. I've had their tea before and it is so good. So let's open it up, shall we? See what's inside. I'm looking for scissors. No, we're just gonna tear it open. It's like Christmas. They give you free samples. Every, this, by the way, is not sponsored by anybody. I just genuinely wanted to give you some real pure content on stuff that maybe people would think is cool. Um, if they were sponsoring me, that would be super cool. <clears throat> <clears throat> David's tea because I love you guys. You're delicious. So inside I have the two teas I purchased and one of their perfect spoons that is advertised to uh, be the perfect measurement for their teas. And then they always give you free samples with every purchase. So I picked out three samples. So the samples I have are Buddha's Blend, which is a white tea, uh, apple cider, which is a something, warm apple, it's just apple cider. It's a fruit infusion. So this is the kind of stuff that I really like from David C is the fruit infusion, um, where it's just a blend of fruits and nuts and um, it's always caffeine free and herbal and really delicious tea. And then I got cold 911, um, which is an herbal infusion as well. And it's supposed to be like, it's got eucalyptus and stuff. So if you have a cold, so I thought I would take a sample of that in case of a cold emergency, basically. So then the fun stuff, what I purchased was another fruit infusion uh, called white cranberry bark. And it's got white chocolate and cranberries in it and some other fun stuff. It's got chocolate, stevia, papaya. So this one does have a warning that it does contain milk um, in there for anyone uh, allergic to the dairy. And then I also bought s'mores chai, which is a s'mores chocolate marshmallows, graham crackers, dark chocolate. It sounds amazing. This one has caffeine in it and it's a little bit late in the day so I'm going to save this one for another day but we will try the white cranberry bark infusion here on camera right now. I'm super excited. Let's get started. Let's use the perfect spoon that we just got shall we? So this says on the package that you want a 16 ounce mug. I've got this size mug, whatever size this one is, um, one to two perfect spoons. So this is my first spoon that I've ever purchased from them. And I have a mesh tea ball right here. Um, I've always just kind of filled it <laughs> and never used the spoon. So I want to assume that this is a 12 ounce mugs. So this has one to two perfect spoons. So I'm going to do one perfect spoon in this ball and see um, how much that comes to. And then we'll brew it. Let's open this up for the first time. I've never had this before. Oh, I can already smell it, it's so delicious. Wow, never ceases to amaze me. It smells like cranberries. <laughs> It smells really good. I wish that you could smell it through the camera, but we can show the inside of it in here. It's hard to see on the camera, but I will scoop out a perfect spoon. Oh my God, the white chocolate is shaped like stars, you guys. Stars, you guys. Let's see if I can show this off. 
without spilling it. Maybe autofocus, don't fail me now. Let me pull out a little white chocolate star to show you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put it in the ball here. I mean, one spoon really filled that tea ball, which is what I normally go with, but I don't know. That's why I bought the spoon. I don't know what I'm doing. See, there's like a whole cranberry here. Here's a white chocolate star for the tea. How cute is that? Just all those nuts and berries, deliciousness. It says one to two spoons, so I'm gonna do one and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and brew this off camera real quick. It says to brew it for four to seven minutes, so I'll be back in four to seven minutes. Four to seven minutes later. Hi, kitty. You wanna say hello? Little kitty? Okay, it's been a few minutes now. My tea is looking really good. Let me just take the camera and show you. See, it's really nice and red and rich looking. Uh, pull this out now. And we're just gonna let it cool for a couple of more minutes before I actually try it because it is pretty hot. While we wait for that to cool, I can note the smell. It really Stings smells like chocolate nostrils. and berries. It's delicious. It's and I don't know about countries. anybody else that might be yep. tea drinker. It's made with bits of real panther. So you know it's I good. Like it's quite pungent. Oh, yeah. the tea after it's uh, It's a formidable scent. Steeped. So when I open this up to go to clean it and everything just puffs up and soaks in all the water so you get all the flavor and it just looks so cool. I don't know why. I'm just so into that, but um, so this is trash. Okay, so I'm really impatient and it's been like maybe a minute, but I really just want to try and sip this and um, just see what it's like for real. So um, it's hot, but we're going to try it anyway. So just blow on it a little. And uh, let's see what it tastes like. I taste really good and the cranberry is really strong um there's some oiliness uh from the fruits i would imagine that is kind of strong uh, i can kind of feel it and i don't really enjoy that too much um i would want to try it again maybe make sure everything is really clean i don't, I, I, everything was clean for sure but you can almost see the oiliness and as soon as i started brewing um, or steeping rather the tea, I saw it coming out. So I'm pretty sure that it's from the tea. Uh, but if you can get past that, because I feel like it's probably from the fruits and um, that doesn't sound too bad. It's really good. Uh, it's very fruity if you're into that. Um, it could be the chocolate also. I mean, it's just melted chocolate, right? But Anyways, besides that little bit of natural oils, um, I'd say it's really good. The cranberry is very strong in it. Um, I would say it's very fruity. The chocolate is mild. Uh, it is white chocolate, so um, it more I can smell it more than I can taste it. But it's not. It's not by any means bad. It's definitely a holiday flavor. Um, I could definitely see, you know, a very typical picture of you sitting by a campfire and, uh, or a fireplace and having your uh, holiday decorations behind you and you're enjoying this tea. Take another sip. Yeah. Wow. I enjoy it. And I hope you enjoyed this awkward, fun episode of me talking about tea. And um, yeah, like I said, this isn't sponsor or anything but if you're interested and you're a tea drinker or you've never heard of david's tea before hop on over there um to davidstea.com and check out all their cool stuff they had some spooky teas and that was exciting but i didn't get my hands on any in time unfortunately but they'll be back next year so 
anyways I'm gonna stop rambling um thanks for watching make sure to like our uh, this video if you liked this video or if you like tea or if you like how awkward I am or maybe you like blue hair or maybe you like the other videos um, that are on this channel um, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more fun exciting spooky surprising overachieving fun stuff um if you like to wave your hands in the air please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye the nostrils in a good way yeah brian i'm gonna be honest with you that smells like pure gasoline